If you need a flexible and secure network solution, then you may just be in the right place today. We're going to have a look at Tailscale and we're going to have a look at Twingate and see which one you should be using in your business as a secure network solution. So without further ado, let's climb into it. Jumping straight into Tailscale, uh, Tailscale provides a real user friendly setup process that can have teams connected within minutes without any complex configurations. Also, it utilizes a zero trust security model to ensure that only authenticated users have access to specific resources, which really does enhance the security. It enables direct peer to peer connections between devices, reducing latency and overall improves performance. Also, Tailscale integrates easily with existing VPNs and network infrastructures, providing flexibility for all businesses. It integrates with existing identity providers and security tools, providing a seamless transition for teams of any size. It also includes an intuitive dashboard for network visibility and management, which allows teams to pretty much easily track access as well as performance all in one space. It supports numerous operating systems, including Windows, Mac OS, Linux OS, and Android, ensuring accessibility literally across all devices. One or two of the drawbacks, however, is that it does require a pretty stable internet connection, which may limit its usability in areas with poor connectivity. And also, while it does offer pretty strong fundamentals, uh, you may find that it does lack some of those advanced features if you want to compare it to more complex VPN solutions. Let's jump into Twingate now. Twingate allows for detailed access control policies, enabling organizations to really manage who accesses specific resources quite easily. It integrates with existing identity providers and security tools, providing a seamless transition for teams of any size. By eliminating the need for VPNs, Twingate actually creates a secure network without exposing services to the open internet, which reduces potential vulnerabilities and increases overall security. It also includes an intuitive dashboard for network visibility and management, which allows teams to pretty much easily track access as well as performance all in one space. It's optimized for supporting remote work environments, which makes it suitable for teams distributed across different locations. However, having a look at one or two of the drawbacks, while it is super user-friendly, mastering some of the advanced features may still require some time and training for some of the teams. Um, so this might be a bit of a time investment. And then for organizations scaling rapidly, the pricing structure may become a bit of a concern compared to some of its alternative solutions it is um, a little bit pricey. Of course, you can see that both of these platforms are fantastic. However, they have been built for specific use cases and specific needs. The key takeaway here should be to go and use both of these platforms to see which one suits your specific needs and which one feels better in a real world scenario. If this was helpful, drop us a like, subscribe to the channel for more awesome content, and we'll see you next time.